the borders are finally reopened and it's now time for you guys to visit Malaysia. Malaysia. After spending almost six years in New Zealand, we decided to move to Malaysia. I started my business as a freelance photographer and we began our YouTube channel in 2020. Now we are living in Malaysia for four years. We have been to so many places in Malaysia and as the borders reopened on the 1st of April, we decided to select the top five places that you should not miss if you come to this beautiful country. Number one. The Batu Cave is one of the most visited attractions with over a million visitors each year and it can easily be reached by bus, train or taxi. Caves are 400 million years old and before you reach the top you're gonna have to climb 272 steps but don't worry it's worth it number two the Cameron Islands we got everything we need right here wine and burning chemistry so the Cameron Island is located around 220 kilometers from Kuala Lumpur and one of the best way to get there is to take the bus and it will cost you around 25 ringgit or six dollars and it's also one of our favorite destination for two reasons. Cameron Island is way cooler than Kuala Lumpur, around 15 degrees Celsius. So when you're coming from Kuala Lumpur, you really, really appreciate it. Cameron Island is also surrounded by tea plantation, and it has the oldest mossy forest in the world, 230 million years old. This is by far our favorite place and unfortunately last year we couldn't go because of COVID but we will be there very very soon. So there is two ways to get to the Perintian Island. You can either take the bus and it will cost you between 40 to 45 ringgit uh, one way and it takes around six hours I think. Six, 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 six or seven hours depending on the on the driver, or you can uh, fly there from Kuala Lumpur to uh, Kota Baru. Kota Baru Airport, yeah. Yeah, but uh, when you arrive at the airport, you will need to take a taxi, and the taxi probably gonna cost you like 50 40. or 60 ringgit, I think. Yeah. yeah. For 50 kilometers? 50, 60 kilometers to get there, to Kuala Basut. Number four, Penko Island. We have discovered this island by chance and we must say that we are pretty surprised by it. It's one of the most underrated islands in Malaysia and the best way to discover it is to rent a scooter for the day. You will pay around 20 uh, ringgit, which is about $6. Five Lenkawi Island. Mm -hmm. 
It will be our final destination during our future project that will take place on the 8th of June 2022. Walking from Kuala Lumpur to Langkawi to raise awareness on the environment in Malaysia. Chenang may be the best place to stay as a backpacker. You can then rent a motorbike, go to the sky bridge, go to the cable car, go to Tanjuru Beach, and even spend the night on the cruise enjoying barbecue and free beer. We hope that you have enjoyed this little video with us guys and if you have not subscribed yet don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. See you on the next video guys. Bye bye. bye, -bye.